Hey kids, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wild animal specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are gonna be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only, Kaya the Koala. Hello, everyone. I know what you're all thinking. I should win an Emmy Award for this show, am I right? I'm not sure that that's what we were all thinking today. Um, however, we could discuss an animal that deserves an award for their acting skills. Oh, really? Do tell. Actually, let me guess. Give me two hints. Okay. This animal plays dead really well. I mean, really well. This animal is also the only marsupial that lives in the United States. Everyone at home, try to guess too. I'll give you five seconds. Wait. Okay, you're gonna have to explain what a marsupial is again? Kaya, you're a marsupial. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I knew that. I was acting. You see, I deserve an Emmy Award for my acting. Maybe explain one more time what a marsupial is and tell us the animal we're going to discuss today. <laughs> okay. The animal we are going to discuss today is the possum! Ah, yes, of course, my marsupial brother. Marsupials are a group of mammals that are known for carrying their babies in a pouch. Kangaroos, koalas, possums are all some well-known marsupials. Like most marsupials, mother possums give birth to tiny underdeveloped babies called joeys. The joeys immediately crawl onto their mother's pouch where they live and nurse on their mother's milk for the first months of their life. Only once they've grown big and strong enough do they venture out, transitioning between their mother's back and the warmth of the pouch until they mature into adults. Baby possums are so cute. Have you seen the videos of mom possums carrying a bunch of babies on her back? Seriously, Google it. It's so cute. And what did you mean when you said the possums play dead really, really well? Possums have several defense mechanisms, meaning they do several things when being threatened by a predator, like growling, hissing, showing all of their teeth. However, they are not aggressive animals. Their most famous defense mechanism is playing dead or playing possum. This mechanism isn't really the possum pretending, it's actually an involuntary reaction, a lot like fainting, and it's triggered by stress. When possums are in this state, they show their teeth, foam at the mouth, and produce a really bad smell. This usually works against predators who think the possum is dead, and they move on. Eventually, the possum will regain their consciousness and walk away. A big tip, if you ever see a possum lying on the ground motionless, the best thing to do is leave him or her in a quiet, safe place with a clear exit path. In minutes or hours, the possum will regain consciousness and escape quietly on its own. Oh, wow, you weren't kidding when you said they play dead really well. I guess we can both have an Emmy Award. How generous of you, Kaya. <laughs> Tell us more fun facts about possums. They are so awesome. Here's a fun fact. Possums are immune to most snake venom. To be immune means to be protected from. So while other animals look at a snake and see danger, a possum sees its next meal. Possums are immune to the venom of almost every type of snake in their native habitat. Possums take advantage of this special adaptation by chowing down on snakes on a regular basis. Possums eat snakes? What else do they eat? Possums are scavengers, so they will eat almost anything. They are also omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. Their diet includes fruit, insects, eggs, birds, reptiles, amphibians, small mammals, bones and all. They are great to have in your garden because they devour destructive snails, slugs, and rotting fruit. Best of all, they eat deer ticks. This is great for humans because ticks are very dangerous insects for humans because they carry diseases like Lyme's disease. Possums can eat up to 4,000 ticks in a single session. 
Where do these tick eaters live? Possums are found in North, Central, and South America. The Virginia possum lives in regions as far north as Canada and as far south as Central America, while other types of possums live only in the country south of the United States. I heard possums are extremely adaptable, just like our friend the raccoon. Is that true? <laughs> Very true. Being adaptable is a great trait for an animal to have. Being adaptable means they can survive in many environments. If it was up to the possum, though, they do prefer woodlands with a nearby water source, like streams or swamps. Just like our raccoon friends, they can flourish and live in many different habitats and climates. Possums don't build their own dens or homes. They usually make their home in abandoned animal burrows, hollow logs, wood piles, attics, and other man made structures that they find. Tell us another fun fact about these awesome animals. Well, while possums may appear to be a little dirty, they are actually all about self care and cleanliness. When they are not actively looking for food or sleeping, possums are grooming themselves. Just like cats, possums also lick their paws and wipe their face. Also, just like a cute cat, they clean their entire bodies from head to tail. Female possums are the cleanest, especially when taking care of their babies or joeys. So, let me get this straight. In the wild, they're basically free pest control for our gardens, slow the spread of Lyme disease for humans by controlling the tick population who carry disease, and they are clean little scavengers who I would call nature's cleaners? Yep. They're pretty amazing, huh? Wow. When you talk about animals being important to the ecosystem in which they live, this is totally what you mean, huh? Exactly, Kaya. Unfortunately, as humans build more and more into our wildlife's land, people and animals are forced to come into closer contact. This often creates deadly hazards for our wildlife, like the possum. People often mistake the open mouth, hissing and drooling behavior of possums as a sign of rabies. However, this is just the possum's defense mechanism like I was talking about before. In fact, rabies is extremely rare in possums because they have a much lower body temperature compared to other warm-blooded mammals. So if you ever see a possum lying on the side of the road or outside looking dead or hurt, best thing to do is call local wildlife rehabilitation center, a veterinarian, or an animal shelter. And of course, something we can all do right now is educate our friends and family about how amazing possums are. Remember, it's up to us, the future generation, to make sure that animals have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure that animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every animal on this planet. And now it's question time. Mm, mm, mm. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false, possums are the only marsupial that live in North America. The correct answer is true. What are possum defense mechanisms? Is it A, growling, B, hissing, C, playing dead, or D, all of the above? The correct answer is D, all of the above. Possums have many defense mechanisms, but are not aggressive. What is a baby possum called? Is it A, a joey? B, a kitten, C, a pup, or D, a hatchling? The correct answer is A, a joey. You guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Toodles. See you next time. See you next week. Bye!